We are entering the business end of the Premier League season and hence this is the perfect time to analyse the players' performance throughout the course of the last nine months. Whilst the forwards and the midfielders garner the most attention and rightly so, this season has been a bit different. The defenders have finally been given the necessary recognition. If things proceed the way they seem to, then we might even witness a central defender win the PFA player of the season, which would be a big achievement for all the men who guard the back line of their teams away from the limelight. In this list, we have included defenders based on their consistency and the impact they have had on their respective teams' overall performance. Some of these players came at the back of poor seasons and have managed to overcome that with aplomb this time around. So, without further ado, here we present the five best centre-backs in the Premiership this season. 5. Harry Maguire Harry Maguire had an excellent summer where he was a pivotal part of the English team that reached the semi-finals of the tournament. After that, he was subject to intense speculation regarding his possible transfer to Manchester United. However, keeping all these distractions aside, Maguire stayed at Leicester City and displayed his worth to the Foxes. He is comfortable with the ball at his feet, a trait that is usually missing from English defenders. Moreover, Maguire's defensive abilities should not be explained either as he is a strong tackler, a composed person who knows when to challenge the opposition for the ball and a dominant aerial threat too. He reads the game to perfection and can actually slot in either a back 4 or a back 3 equally well. Maguire likes to carry the ball ahead and can cause chaos inside the box during set pieces. He registers one tackle, 1.3 interceptions and 4.8 clearances per game in the Premier League this season. The 26-year-old has also scored 3 goals and wins 3.8 aerial duels each game too. For his consistently appreciable performances, Maguire warrants a place in this list, for Willy Bully. Willy Bully has manned Wolverhampton Wanderers' backline to perfection this season and his defensive attributes have shown well. Firstly, coming to the top tier of English football, Bully has shown no signs of rustiness as very early into the season they managed to contain the likes of the Manchester City and Manchester United. Wolves' biggest strength is their defensive rigidity and Billy is definitely to be credited for that. He is a very strong tackler and a level-headed person, something that allows him to concentrate throughout the course of the game and maintain the defensive shape due to which Wolves have made such a name for themselves. His game awareness is top-notch, something that allows him to intercept the balls and move it ahead with precision. Bully is quite strong aerially too, which gives him an edge during set pieces and whilst playing other physically dominant oppositions too. He has scored 3 goals this season and records 2.4 tackles in each game too. Bully wins 3.7 aerial duels in each match too and that displays how well covered each aspect of his overall gameplay is, 3 Victor Lindelof. Victor Lindelof endured a horrendous start to his Premier League campaign last season as he was culpable for two goals that Huddersfield Town scored. As the previous term was more about him getting adept to the nature of the Premier League, Lindelof has finally demonstrated what he is capable of this time around. Manchester United's backline has been a cause of concern ever since Ed Woodward failed at landing a quality centre-back last time around. With the current roster, no manager can attempt to play in a back three formation either and this limits the tactical flexibility of the team. Moreover, players like Phil Jones and Marcos Rojo have hardly been fit enough to play for a stretch of games. Steps up, Victor Lindelof. The Swede has taken over the mantle of leading a feeble backline and has delivered his best performances under pressure from the opposition. Technically. He is one of the best centre-backs one can come across. He is capable of playing either of right or the left side and is a natural leader, someone who takes the responsibility of guiding his partner along with him too. Lindelof is a strong challenger, a concentrated man who senses danger and is unafraid to put his body at the line of the ball to prevent any danger. 
His ball playing abilities add a new dimension to United's gameplay and he has gradually become an indispensable part of the setup. He registers 1.2 tackles in addition to 4.2 clearances per match and is undoubtedly one of the best in his position in the league currently. One of two Americ Laporte. Americ Laporte was bought for a then record transfer fee by Manchester City and just like Lindelof, the first season for him was all about getting accustomed to the pace and the physicality of the Premiership. This time around though, he has managed to keep veterans like Vincent Kompany and Nicolas Otamendi on the sidelines, thus managing to become the mainstay from a defensive perspective for Pep Guardiola's side. Laporte is an exceptional leader of the game and assuring with the ball at his feet too. His sense of positioning is excellent too, something that allows him to get to the ball quicker than his adversaries and thus maintain the possession of the ball, which is a major part of Guardiola's game play at City. Laporte is a brilliant passer of the ball too, having registered an accuracy of 92.7% in the league this season. He isn't afraid to move ahead with the ball in search of openings and thus has gradually become the perfect example of an ideal modern-day defender. Statistically, he averages 1.1 tackles and interceptions per match, which might not seem exemplary but it is something that he doesn't need to do usually in Guardiola's gameplay. 1 Virgil van Dijk Finally, the man who might have the most important role to play in Liverpool's title challenge this time around. The Dutchman has been supreme for Jurgen Klopp's men this season and has grown to become an exceptional leader, someone who has shown the path for the team to move ahead whenever they have struck in a tricky, difficult sort of situation. A major tweak in Liverpool's gameplay this season has been their slightly excessive use of pragmatism in most of the matches. Quite a contrast to the last season, Liverpool have mellowed down their attacking approach and yet managed to sneak in victories due to the enigmatic presence of someone like Virgil van Dijk. As there has been lesser cohesion in their attacking gameplay this season, van Dijk's presence has become even more crucial in the team. Intense matches such as the Merseyside Derby and the games against the two Manchester clubs, he has managed to hold the back line together whilst doing his own job to perfection too. The Dutchman is an excellent presence in the air too, winning 4.7 aerial duels per match this season. He averages 1.1 tackles but clears the ball on 5.3 occasions in each game, which is appreciable. Moreover, the sense of calmness and composure that he has brought to a famously frantic Liverpool's backline deserves to be credited. If Klopp's team does march on to win the title this time around, the biggest reason of them all would be Virgil van Dijk's supreme performances throughout the course of the season.